in today's gospel, we learn that the apostle set off in their boat across the Sea of uh, Galilee. And then they discovered that they forgot to bring uh, enough of food for their journey and that they are miles away from land and any place where they could buy uh, food supplies. They were so anxious of this uh, situation despite of the miracle that the Lord performed the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. So it was not first or only once that he did this miracle of the multiplication of the loaves. He asked him twice. He said, and he feed 5,000 and on another occasion, uh, 4,000. And they knew that uh, there were leftovers, 12, seven baskets of bread. Today, we are once again reminded as we enter uh, these 40 days of Lent, we are reminded that we are all followers of Christ, we are all disciples, that most of us are still anxious of many things about work, money, material things. Some are anxious of their riches and powers. We are so concerned of the things that we forgot the Lord is always in our sight and that He knows everything. He knows what we need. He knows what's in our heart and our mind, even before we ask for it. The Lord knew the trouble in our hearts even before we speak. We could speak and our Lord will deal all our anxiety in this life. And like the disciples, He warns us not to fear what can harm the, the body. Rather, let us be concerned more of the things that destroy our soul. The Lord today cautioned us to be, uh, caution us of these things that corrupts our body or that leads us to death, such as the living of the Pharisee and the living of Herod. He said, our daily bread is all the things that nourish us, not just physically but spiritually and morally. The Lord told his disciples to be on constant guard, to be aware of the living of the Pharisees because to the Jew, Leaven was a sign of evil. It was a piece of dough left over from a pre previous uh, baking. In due course, it fermented, and this fermented dough became leaven. And fermentation is also associated with decomposing. The Lord today wants us to avoid this influence of our times who sold material things rather than things in heaven or the will of our Father in heaven. He reminded us that we should not be worried about lack of material things because the Lord will provide us as he provided food for the 5,000 and in another occasion also 4,000. He will provide us with the things that we need in this life 
things that would lead us to our Father in heaven. Many times we are so preoccupied with the problems and the needs of the present moment and we forget the most important of all God's love and mercy God's abiding presence with us and his abundant provision for our lives every day God gives us abundant things so we can also share it to others and so as we continue our celebration we ask the Holy Spirit to guide us that what we need or what we really need in this life what we desire in this life are things that would lead us to heaven would lead us to our Father. And so we pray that may the good Lord continue to sustain us with life-giving word and spirit. So as we continue our celebration, we ask that may the Lord give us joy and strength to serve Him always and help us to turn away from the living of sin and worldliness which brings us to death. As we enter these 40 days of, uh, of the Lenten season, we ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten our minds and hearts that all we do is according